Now, when I think about 1950, I think about the arrival of Bob Cousy, which we covered in our previous episode. Uh, Bob Cousy, guys and gals, was quite content with running a gas station unless he could play for Boston. And that is what happened. He ended up, of course, playing for Boston as a rookie in the 50-51 season. But let's talk about Earl Lloyd, because a lot of people are asking about players that were considered pioneers. Earl Lloyd was a pioneer, and he played his first game on October 31st, Halloween guys of 1950. The national press must have recorded his every move. But how did he describe the game, Ken? There was no front page story about the first black to play in the NBA. There was nothing in the national press either. And I asked Earl, I said, I can't believe that. And Earl said, well, he, th he thought one of the reasons, first of all, Rochester is a very sophisticated city. It had uh, a major industry, Kodak. It had a major university. It was filled with science and, and scientists and doctors and lawyers and sure. professional people. Uh, if, and Earl said this, uh, the next week he was in Indiana and he said it would have been a different story if he had played his first game in Indiana because even at that game uh, he got a lot of cat calls and you know the n-word and that type of thing and the uh, that was his first taste of what was going to happen.